Right, good morning. <clears throat> um, I'm going to. It's raining outside now. I was, I'm supposed to be cracking on with the insulation uh, and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to do that. I'm giving myself a day off mucking around with that. Um, I'm off work tomorrow. Today's Sunday, uh, and I've got three days to to play around with that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have a slightly different job today. This is the interior of the van, as you can see. Someone, in their infinite wisdom, has screwed something like a mobile phone holder or a cup holder or something to that, and then it's been yanked off or whatever. So I just need to tidy that up. You can buy this replacement panel, but it's about, you know, it's like 30 quid or something. So what I've done is I bought one of these cheap, cheap and cheerful uh, things off eBay. It gives time, inside temperature, outside temperature, and if you plug it in... As soon as it gets the feed, let me just put it there, turn the car on. You've got, uh, it lights up and you've got the vehicle voltage. And that tells me, you can see there, it's, it's low. This battery needs replacing in this, in this van. It's quite, quite neat actually. You can change the color of it, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you know just a cheap and cheerful uh, bit of tat from our good friends in China. So what I'm going to is I'm going to fit that. I'm going to cut a hole, a slot in there, and I'm going to fit that inside. Uh, obviously, this power uh, I'm just going to cut off, and I'll just power it in in the electrics somewhere behind there on an, probably on an ignition feed and I will have another button probably to turn it on and off because you might, I might not want this bright light on all the time driving at night or whatever and the external temperature sensor I'm going to run inside the vehicle and this looks like a pretty good place to put it just in the door jam here there's like a, a big grommet there I'll be able to just poke it through that it won't foul on this locator so that should be uh, good, reasonably simple, but um, probably a little bit fiddly, chasing wires, etc. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is sort of finishy type work. I, I shouldn't really be doing this with so much else to crack on with, but it's just, um, it's just annoying seeing these two screw holes in the dash, so I'm just going to whack that one out now. Um, so yeah, that'll be my little job for Sunday. Right. In the uh, good old tradition of <coughs> Chinese cheap tat, it's got all this writing on the bottom, car voltage, meter, clock, thermometer, <coughs> ice alert, which is a bit chippy. I don't want all that, all that stuff on it. So I'm hoping that I can introduce that lettering to some acetone and see how it gets on with that. I will just patch test it on the back of the unit with a bit of acetone, make sure it doesn't melt the whole thing. But hopefully I can just remove that lettering. So it doesn't look quite as uh, quite as chirpy. Well, I'm not going to do that. The acetone will uh, just destroy the plastic. It's obviously that kind of plastic that acetone disagrees with. So I think I'll try something a bit um, a bit more benign, like some white spirit or something. But I intend to remove that lettering. Well, that didn't work. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to keep the lettering. Yeah. Righty-ho, there you giggity go. Uh, it's all right. I did a, quite a quick job. I fitted a switch here just as an on-off for power, because, I, like I said, I don't want it... I might not want it all brightened up all the time at night. Pretty simple job. I just used a drill and... Um, these hasp files are pretty good just for shaving off plastic. But, yeah... I've uh, glued it at the back just with some contact adhesive so I've just got to wait for that to dry and fit it. A reasonably simple job. Et voila! Uh, so yeah, there you go. It comes on with the ignition. And you can turn it off if you don't want it beaming, beaming onto you at night. I ran the external... Uh, temperature sensor just to the passenger door because it was easier taking this off than, than this so yeah that's tidied it up a little bit I'm quite pleased with that right morning it's quite a nice day today a little bit windy though so uh, I'll take you through a bit of the progress I'm making 
As you can see, I'm slowly replacing these panels that were missing. This light is smashed. I smashed it. I was moving a bit of board out the back and it just clipped that light, but because it's so old and brittle, it just took a chunk off that, so that was my own fault. What I'm probably going to do is get rid of this. There are decent lights underneath. I might just get rid of these covers on both sides because they're quite expensive. I need to get the reversing light. This was broken, so I bought a new one with a camera, so I'm going to have to chase wires down the inside, which will be a bit of a pain. Uh, I've replaced that, and I smashed the window off. I hit another car uh, wing mirror. It's just not really being used to the size of this van. It was a silly mistake, my fault. Um, what I've done is I've replaced a lot of the clips because these were sort of, you know, half hanging off. So I bought some clips. So it's slowly sort of coming together and looking a bit more complete. Right. I've got some disused Christmas wrapping paper and I'm just marking out the panel sides as you can see from that side. I think they're both equal and opposite so I think I only have to do that once. I'll trial fit it to both sides and make sure that that fits. That'll just be six millimeter ply and I'll cover that in carpet. Another big job I have to carpet the roof but like I say with this light stroke camera because it's all fiberglass to you I don't think I can chase down the sides I think it's going to be a case of securing it up there before I put the carpet on. There's a few other things I need to do I'm going to put some ceiling lights on so I need to chase wires down the side. Um, I have bought some soft sort of a uh, spongy type insulation which I'm going to use to fill these these cavities but I would just like to get that these panels cut out so that is what I'm going to concentrate on now right that's my template cut out I've trial fitted it on the wall and it seems to be good so now it's just cutting one of those out of my six ball ply checking it fits on both sides uh, and then cutting out both the uh, both the panels. So uh, jigsaw out and uh, off I go with that. We have Jeff and his Vivaro. He's fitting a light like I've got on mine. Anyway, back to mine. I have now cut out the panel pretty well. Now to see if it'll just fit on that side and then I'll just jig out another panel. Hopefully this will be nice and easy. There you go, winning. So yeah that fits. So now what I'm going to have to do is find where I can screw it in. I'm going to put rivnuts on the other side and that will be bolted in. I'll probably need six or so bolts all the way around. But that is going to be insulated and carpeted, which is a job I will probably do later. I just wanted them cut, so I'm quite happy with that. Another little job out the way. Right, there are the two side panels done. For there, and that is all the panels done now. They'll still have to play around with them a bit, but. Like I say, the two doors, I'm going to carpet the door inserts and they get windows. So, yeah, I had to buy another um, sheet of plywood, which is a bit of a pain. That one was a couple of inches too short to do both panels. So, yes, uh, that is that job ticked off as well now. Uh, I think I spoke a little bit too soon. There is another little panel. What I'm going to do is at the front here. I'm going to have a piece of wood going across up to about 10 or so inches high. So that'll go across there up to here. It'll give me room to, you know, chuck junk and tools and all that kind of stuff in behind it in this space. And also, I'm going to fit a curtain up here going across which will lie into it. 
be a, uh, I'll probably make Kurt myself out of, uh, out of the um, carpet with some insulation on just to give it like a good blackout insulated curtain between the cab and the back. So uh, I'm just going to chop that bit of wood, wood uh, now. Right, there you go. That's that bit of wood across there. It's only put there, it's not. It's not properly fixed in now, but that will be a decent little bit of space just for chucking stuff behind. That I'm going to cover in the carpet that I've got, and it will obviously sit on this floor, which will be linoed. So that's all the panels now. Uh, next job, which won't be today, is going to be the ceiling. I've got to, I forgot to clean the ceiling when I cleaned the rest of the van, so I've got to sugar soak clean that. Uh, take off the surround for that fan. Run a few wires in for the interior lighting that I'm going to have. And then bang in some of the uh, insulation I've got. And then carpet over that. So that'll be a big-ish job that hopefully I can knock out tomorrow. Right, I've just finished off insulating the two wheel arches. I've done a bit of a rough job. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not contouring carpet or anything around them. They're both going to be covered up anyway. Bed and storage stroke desk unit. So uh, yeah, just a little bit more work knocked out. Uh, back tomorrow for some more. Right, there you go. I've got my trusty Rivnutter out again, so you know I mean business. Right, here is what I'm doing. I'm basically just banging in some riv nuts around there. So that, and I've drilled the holes, is all ready to just, I've already fixed it on there and it's very solid. Um, I've checked with the other side and it can just be in, uh, totally replicated with the other board. So I'll use that as a stencil, drill out the riv nut holes, riv nut the other side, fit them both, make sure they fit fine. And then I shall be able to just prep those up with carpet and insulation uh, and have them ready. Because like I said, I bought some soft uh, sort of foamy insulation to go into these cavities. So yeah, okay, it's a bit of a jigsaw this. You, you, you know, I order stuff and then I have to wait for that to arrive before, you know, before I can do the next step. So I'm basically waiting on things to be delivered because um, I have to do all this in a certain order. Um, but I've got to go into work today, so I'm not going to get much work done. But, as I've said before, um, my next big job, or one that I'd like to just knock out, is the ceiling. Uh, cleaning it up, chasing some wires, insulation carpet. So, uh, yeah, that's to come. Right, there you go. That is the insulation all in and complete. I've cut out where that, um, it's like a high capacity fan unit, it was for getting rid of uh, petrol fumes for the guy who had it last time. It's loud and it's you know much too much for me, for what I need, but I'm gonna leave it in uh, as basically just a vent. So uh, I've taken the plastic cover off that and now I need to carpet it, cut the hole out and fit the cover back. So I shall start carpeting now, I think. Right. There is the ceiling carpet. <coughs> and you don't need me to tell you, that's a shit job. Um, basically, I had some real trouble there. Um, I tried to do it all in one piece and it's sort of bunched up in the middle. Uh, so I basically just had to, I can't, you can't take it off. It rips down the insula insulation and everything. I would have just made it a total mess of everything if I'd have tried to pull it down. Um, once you put this on, because uh, it's the fibrous carpet, it just sticks solid, bang. You, you've not got a second try at it, like you have with the insulation. So uh, yeah, I've made a mess. I had to cut it and basically, you can't stop, you've just got to keep going and, and do as best you can. So, um, I've got a few ideas of how I'm going to sort of conceal this. Because you can't leave it like that, it's, it's a shocking job. It looks worse than it will do now, because 
that bit in the centre, the real mess. Just after that, I cut it. You can see the sort of cut line. Uh, that most of that's going to be cut out for where the uh, the fan is. But yeah, I'm going to have to get a bit clever and artistic to sort out that mess. But it's getting on a bit now. Uh, so yeah, um, this is Saturday. So I'm going to finish shortly. I've got to do a quick. Uh, I've got to just take a link out of a uh, chain for a guy, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to tidy up and uh, tools down for the day as far as camper van goes. But I'm hoping to get a lot more done tomorrow. All the uh, panels on the sides. <gasps> Shocking! <laughs> and uh, a few more things. So yeah, um, like everything really, you're just going to have to uh, wait and see the finished result. And uh, see if I got away with it. So yeah, see you tomorrow. There's something nasty in the woodshed. And yes, it is my ceiling. Uh, I've come in here. This is just a place on the farm where I've got my unit. Um, just because it's a little bit windy outside and this spray adhesive just disappears with the wind. So I am now going to crack on with the panelling. So, uh, yeah. Let's get busy. Right, there you go. Just to... Prove I'm not a complete and utter mong. They're the two uh, rear uh, door, sorry, rear panel uh, covers. As you can see, I've cut out some slots on that one just to um, maximise some storage because the bed's going to be in front of that, so that's sort of accessible. With this side, <coughs> it's all going to be built up with uh, sort of furniture in front of that, so there's no point. With that, and that was extremely easy and quick and an absolute pleasure to do, unlike that bloody ceiling that I did yesterday. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to crack on and do the three panels now. That and the two doors. So, there we go. Right, that was a little bit easier. It was a hell of a lot easier, and I've kind of redeemed myself from my terrible job yesterday check this out there you go this carpet is fantastic stuff as you can see here it just stretches around I mean that is quite a quite a thing there this is all one piece no cut as well apart from that cut there for the opening it just contours round that was really easy so that's the panels there's the other door. So that's the two side doors, the rear panel, the rear tailgate door, two side panels, and that's a piece of dividing stuff I'm going to put in here, just so I can chuck tools and whatnot behind it. Um, so yeah, brilliant stuff, this carpet. It was just a real pig doing that ceiling, but... Um, yeah, that's a big job out of the way now. Um, all the carpeting done. So yeah, happy with that. Right, I'm now doing some insulation. I've got this massive roll of stuff. It's really difficult to cut this. It's it's um, basically it's very finely shredded plaster, old plastic bottles. So it's very eco-friendly and ever so nice, but it's a real pain to cut. It's not like normal foam, you can't just tear it. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just insulating the inside of these doors. It's going to obviously have a window at the top. But I'm cutting this stuff into strips and stuffing it in as, hard, as far as I can. So basically everything uh, within that door is stuffed with this foam. So it should be very well insulated. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on doing that for all three back doors now. Right. Insulation. Uh, it's been fully insulated now on the inside, both doors, and the panels look absolutely brilliant. I'm well chuffed with that. Uh, I've run out of insulation actually, <coughs> so um, I'm going to have to go out and get some more. This door's done as well. You can't really see very well, I know. But it all looks really, really good. 
So yeah, I've got to go to B&Q or Screw Fix or something. Uh, I've got to get some um, contact spray adhesive because I'm going to hopefully get down the the floor today. Uh, but yeah, finish off the um, insulation and bang that door panel in and it should look really, really good. So uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on as I'm making good progress now. Right, check that out. That is the second bit of insulation on the floor. Just waiting for the lino now. Door panel, I've done that quarter panel there, but that's all insulated. Bang, back door, panel done. I haven't actually, because I couldn't get any more insulation of the type I want. So I'll have to, take, I'll have to get some, probably on eBay. I don't want masses of it. Uh, get some to do that and that'll just be done later. Quarter panel there. Is all uh, insulated, so yeah, that is a good bit of progress. This door card is obviously done too. So yeah, after a lot of prep and mucking about, it's a bit like a big jigsaw. This, you know, you have to do things in a certain order, and then you sort of realise that you need something. You know, you have to order it on eBay or whatever, wait for it to come before you can move on. But yeah, that's a massive amount of progress today. It's all sort of come together after a couple of weeks of uh, legwork, prep work, all that kind of stuff. So it's, um, I've done all the legwork-ish now. Um, so yeah, I'm in a happy place with this. It's all starting to come good. So um, I think that's a pretty good uh, point to finish today on, as it's four o'clock, and this episode too. So uh, I'll see you again in episode three. Take care. See you later. Bye.